గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద డైమండ్ రూపాస్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ నీట్ అండ్ కేసెట్ ఆన్లైన్ క్లాసెస్ యాజువల్లీ ఎస్ డేస్ వీ ఆర్ డోన్ టు కంప్లీటెడ్ ఫోటో సింథసిస్ ఇన్ హయ్యర్ ప్లాన్స్ ద క్లాస్ ఇట్ విల్ బి డోన్ కంటిన్యూ టుడే ఆల్సో ఇన్ దట్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద రిమైనింగ్ ప్రీవియస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆర్ వన్ ద ఫస్ట్ యాక్సెప్టర్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఫ్రమ్ అండ్ ఎక్సైటెడ్ క్లోరోఫిల్ మాలిట్యూల్ ఆఫ్ ఫోటో సిస్టమ్ టూ ఈ so here the portion was from the non cyclic electron transport system so here the non cyclic electron transport system electron transport system it state place in a tilaoid membrane that is in a tilaoid tilaoids are having as a two membranes this is the outer membrane and this is the inner membrane this is we call as a lumen you can imagine this tilaoid membrane as this is the tilaoid structure so here we are going to enlarge this here this is the outer membrane this is the inner tilaoid membrane this is alumen this is only we are going to represent it here so now in this non cyclic electron transport system two photo systems are there in involved photo system 2 and the photo system 1 so that photo system 2 can receive the 680 nanometers of the light photo system 1 can receive the 700 nanometers of the light so now here 680 nanometers are the light it must fall on the surface of the photo system 2 and can undergo its excitation state and then send the electrons into pheophytin primary electron acceptor it's a pheophytin so now these are the pheophytin into electrons are there here by the transferring of the electrons by from the photo system to into the pheophytin here electron deficiency is take place after the completion of the first step of the non cyclic electron transport system in the second step it is photolysis of water can take place that is one of the water molecule can split in the presence of manganese and chlorine molecules they then form into two electrons two protons and half or 10 molecule will be don't release that is this is the photolysis of water what are the two electrons are they can release these two electrons will be don't to send into the photo system too now the question it is the first acceptor of electron from an excited chlorophyll molecule of photo system too they given as a cytochrome iron and sulfur proteins pyridoxine and phenone see now here after the excitation state after the excitation state from the photo system to pheophytin should be uh, pheophytin will be going to received after the completion of the receiving of two electrons from the pheophytin and these water electrons are then transfer from the water into the pheo photo system to again they can transfer into the photo system uh, pheophytin and from this pheophytin into electrons are then transfer as a plastotrinon from the plastotrinon into cytochrome d6 cytochrome f and the plastocyanin it's a mobile electron carrier from the plastocyanin into same time photosystem one can receive the electrons and it can send into the unknown component and the plastocyanin can donate the electrons into photosystem one and from this pyridoxin can receive and here nadp is converted into NADPH2 so this is a concept of non cyclic electron this is a concept of non cyclic electron transfer system see here the first acceptor of electrons from the excited chlorophyll molecules of photo system 2 now from this photo system 2 into the first electron acceptor it should be pheophytin but the option was not given so now pheophytin also consider as a photo system 2 from these are the pheophytin into we two where electrons will be going to transfer that is they given as a plastotrinon so now you see cytochrome cytochrome complexes are here cytochrome b6 and cytochrome iron and sulfur molecule that iron and sulfur molecules are iron and sulfur molecule that is unknown component and ferridoxin this is the ferridoxin so remain as a trinon cycle so now from the photo system 2 into the electrons will be drawn to received by the presence of plastotrinon this is also called as a trinon cycle so answer is d the next question solarization is 
solarization so in the name only there solar means it is a light solarization is so due to the presence of high light what happens option a formation of chlorophyll and destruction of chlorophyll utilization of the sunlight and effect of solar light so formation of the chlorophyll in the presence of the light photosynthesis take place synthesis of the chlorophyll pigments are not occur so option a is incorrect and destruction of chlorophyll so in a solar solar means group of the light different intensity of the light will be drawn present high intensity of the light if the high intensity of the light will fall on a chlorophyll pigment the chlorophyll pigments will be don't undergo as a destruction that is only with all as a destruction of chlorophyll pigments they are also called as photo oxidation photo oxidation that is a destruction of chlorophyll pigment by the presence of high intensity of the light these chlorophyll pigments will be drawn to damage otherwise chlorophyll pigments will be drawn to inactive and option b option c utilization of the light utilization of the light all the solar light will not utilize into the photosynthesis and effect of solar light here effect of the solar light it's all it's not something as a solarization so by the effect of the solar light chlorophyll molecules or chlorophyll pigments will be drawn to destruct the destruction of the chlorophyll molecules only with all as a solarization answer is b the next question during the formation of photochemical reaction of photosystems photosynthesis during the form during the photochemical reaction of photosynthesis is that photochemical reaction we are going to depend as a light reaction so in the light reactions what happens light reaction of photosynthesis what it will take place option a liberation of oxygen takes place formation of atp molecules and nadp to take place liberation of oxygen and formation of atp and formation of atp and nadp to molecules are take place and option d assimilation of co2 takes place assimilation of co2 it is belongs into the dark reaction so light reaction included as these three only liberation of oxygen formation of atp and nadp to molecules liberation of oxygen and formation of atp and nadp to molecules in the non cyclic electron transport system you can see that is light reaction liberation of oxygen it take place and by the moment of electrons into the plasmodium here the photophosphorylation atp synthesize and also here the nadp to molecules oxygen liberation synthesis of the atp and production of nadph2 will take place so answer it is liberation of oxygen and formation of atp and nadph2 molecules answer c and next question how many kelvin cycles from one hexose molecule kelvin cycle is also called as a c3 cycle so according to the uh, according to the c3 cycle for the synthesis of one glucose molecule six co2 molecules are required so for the synthesis of one glucose molecule six co2 molecules 12 nadph2 molecules and 18 atp molecules are required so this is for the one glucose molecule so this is for the one glucose molecule through the c3 cycle so now they are asking for the synthesis of one glucose molecule the cycle will be done to means uh, these are the c3 cycle will be done to rotate how many times so for the synthesis of one glucose molecule six co2 molecules are required so each one of the carbon dioxide molecule will be done to fixed by the involvement of specialized uh, enzymes and also by the involvement of uh, these uh, by, by the involvement of specialized uh, reactants fixation of the carbon dioxide will take place for the every uh, for the synthesis of one glucose molecule for the synthesis of one glucose molecule or one hexose molecule that c3 cycle will be done rotates into six times by the six rotating of the six times one glucose molecule will be done synthesis means one co2 molecule for one time or one co2 molecule for one cycle like six co2 molecules are there it will be done to rotate or it will done to cycle into the six times so answer is six next question which of the following statement with regard to photosystem photosynthesis is are correct so they given as the options in these are the options uh, regarding the photosynthesis correct options we have to choose 
ऑप्शन ए सी फोर प्लांट प्राइमरी सी वो टू एक्सेप्टर इस टीईपी यस ये सी फोर प्लांट प्राइमरी सी वो टू एक्सेप्टर इस डेटिवन एस टीईपी पास कोई नाल पायरिविटास इट इज़ थ्री टार्बन कंपोन्ड सो ये सी फोर प्लांट फर्स्ट फॉर्म डू प्रोडक्ट इट्स ए ऑर्डरलो एसिड एसिड इट इज़ ए फोर टार्बन कंपोन so these are the pascoinal pyruvic acid can fit the one molecule of carbon dioxide and they can release they can form into the oxaloacetic acid so first formed product is contained as a four carbon so that's why the site is called as c4 in photosynthetic process ps2 absorb energy at just below 680 nanometers yes in a photosynthetic process photosystem too can absorb the energy at or just below the 680 nanometers that photosystem too can receive the 680 nanometers of light 680 nanometers of the light and option c the pigment that is present in the the pigment that is present in the photo, uh, pigment system 1 is c683 see now the pigment that is present in the pigment system is pigment system 1 is p683 pigment system 1 we are also called as a photo system 1 it can receive the 700 nanometers of light but they given as a 680 only so out of the given three options the two options are there correct that is in c4 plants primary c4 acceptor is pep and in the photosynthetic process photo system absorb at energy 680 nanometers or just below that so C and D are correct. Right. C is entire statement. The answer is D. And the next question: Number of carboxylations in C4 cycle. Number of carboxylations in C4 cycle is R. Carboxylation means fixation of carbon dioxide. So in a C3 plants, fixation of carbon dioxide is take place in only mesophyll cells. It all as a mesophyll cells. But in a C4 plant, fixation of the carbon dioxide it takes place in mesophyll cells and bundle seed cells. In the mesophyll cells and bundle seed cells, fixation of the carbon dioxide it takes place. So that's why number of carboxylations in C4 cycle it is two. So in the first atmospheric carbon dioxide is fixed into the mesophyll cells and form into the oxaloacetic acid. It exports into the chloroplast and it converts into the malic acid. Malic acid is exported into the bundle seed cells. In the bundle seed cells, malic acid undergoes a decarboxylation and their internal CO2 will be done released and then it will be done fixed into the utilized into the C3 cycle of bundle seed cells of C4 plants. So that's why. In the bundle seed cells, one CO2 fixation and mesophyll cells, one CO2 fixation will take place. So that's why two times of the carboxylation will be done to occur in a C4 plant. So answer is B2. The next question: During photorespiration, the oxygen consuming reaction occurs. Photorespiration it exclusively belongs into the C3 cycle. Photorespiration we are also called as a C2 cycle. And the photorespiration at the time of the photorespiration, specialized enzyme will be don't involve that is Rubisco. Rubisco now can act as a oxygenase. Generally, Rubisco can act as a carboxylase also. But instead of the carboxylation, oxygenation will take place in the photorespiration because the oxygen concentration is more in the atmosphere. So at the time, C3 plants are they can perform the C2 cycle that is called as photorespiration. For this photorespiration. Three cell organelles are majorly involved. Those are chloroplast, peroxisomes, and mitochondria. Question: It is out of these three cell organelles, in the which cell organelles oxygen is involved? So, first step of this photorespiration is take place in a chloroplast. Atmospheric oxygen can fit into the presence of Rubisco enzyme that can form into the three phosphoglyceric acid and also Three and also two phosphor glycolate. Two phosphor glycolate will be done to form. 
So at the time in the formation of two phosphate lipoid or phosphate lipoid formation, arsen is involved. And later, these of the phosphate glycolate is exported into the paroxysms. Glycolate is converted into the glyoxalate. Conversion of glycolate into the glyoxalate, their oxygen is required. So, this oxygen will be done to transfer from the inner of the paroxysms. H2O2 hydrogen peroxide will be done presence. That hydrogen peroxide from the hydrogen peroxide. Oxygen molecules will be drawn to release the are utilized by the phosphor glycolate. That phosphor glycolate is converted into the glyoxalate. So oxygen consuming in the photorespiration is three uh, two cell ordinals out of the three. The two cell ordinals are chloroplast and the peroxisomes. Now you see drama of the chloroplast and peroxisomes. See now here drama can take place into the light reactions. Light reactions, their ATP will be ATP and NADPH2 molecules are synthesized. But in a photorespiration is a wasteful of cycle, their ATP and NADPH2 molecules are not synthesized. And stroma of chloroplast, stroma and option C, stroma of chloroplast and mitochondria. So here the stroma of chloroplast, mitochondria is not involved because mitochondria is involved in a photorespiration, but oxygen consuming process of photorespiration, chloroplast and peroxisomes only. And option D, they given as a stroma of chloroplast and peroxisomes. So here, you will be there as a doubt here, photorespiration will take place in the presence of light only. But light is present. In the presence of the light, instead of the carbon dioxide fixation, oxygen molecules are there in the, in the presence of rubisto oxygenase enzyme. So that's why that reaction of photorespiration is take place in a stroma of chloroplast. And there are the stroma of chloroplast, oxygen molecules will be going to consume and also the peroxisomes. The peroxisomes, glycolate is converted into the glyoxalate. There are also oxygen molecules are consumed. So answer it is stroma of chloroplast and peroxisomes. Two cell ordinals. In these are the two cell ordinals, oxygen molecules are then consumed. The next question, select the incorrect matched pair regarding C4 cycle. We have to identify the inside match regarding the C4 cycle. Option A, primary CO2 fixation product it is. Primary CO2 fixation product, they are given as a passport glyceric acid. So here, primary CO2 fixed product, uh, product it is passport enol pyruvic acid and they can form into the oxaloacetic acid. But they are given as a primary CO2 fixation product is they given as a odd passport lyric acid. It should be fixed the product as phosphoenol, phosphoenol pyruvic acid. Otherwise, CO2 molecules are fixed into the phosphoenol pyruvic acid. It is a three carbon compound. And in the presence of PEPase enzyme, they can form into the one molecule of oxaloacetic acid. It is a four carbon compound. So primary formed product in a C4 cycle is a oxaloacetic acid. And this CO2 fits with the component of phosphoenol pyruvic acid, but they given as phosphate lyric acid. So this phosphate lyric acid is not utilized the uh, fixation of CO2 in C4 cycle. And option B, site of initial carboxylation. So site of initial carboxylation, C4 cycle can occur by the two types of the cell, that is mesophyll cells and the bundesic cells. So first carboxylation, it takes place in a mesophyll cells only. And primary CO2 acceptor. See now, primary CO2 acceptor is a PEP. They given as a PEP, primary CO2 acceptor. And C4 plant example, maize. So, primary CO2 fixation product, it should be present as a oxaloacetic acid. Primary CO2 acceptor is a phosphoenol pyruvic acid. But here, option A, they given as a passport glyceric acid. It's not a passport glyceric acid. It should be present as oxaloacetic acid. So mismatch is A. Yes, next question. The most effective wavelength of visible light in photosynthesis in the region of. So visible light we are also called as a PAR. So in that region only plant that can perform the photo, photosynthesis that is 390 nanometers to 760 nanometers otherwise 400 to 700 nanometers of the light. 
So now, the most effective wavelength of visible light, again, they are asking out of the visible light, means the visible light is contained as a Vibgeot colors. So out of this, out of this, most effective wavelength of the light, it is required for the photosynthesis. That is, plants that can perform the photosynthesis in blue light and red light. So, all of the higher group of the plants are, they can perform much amount of the food materials by the presence of red light only, that is 680 nanometers to 760 nanometers. So, in the presence of red light only, the plants, they can prepare much amount of food materials out of the visible light. Visible light is standard as 7 dollars, but out of the 7 dollars, plants are, they can perform the photosynthesis in yet 2 dollars only, that is blue and red. So, the blue, it is, blue light is required for the lower group of the plants and lower organisms, less amount of the food materials are prepared. But in a red light, the region of red light, much amount of the photosynthesis are intense, the much yield of the photosynthesis is takes place. Answer D as red light. And the next question, which of the following is it capable of performing photosynthesis at a high temperature, that is 50? Which are the plants that can perform the photosynthesis in the, even though the 50 degrees temperature? So based upon the living of the plants in the uh, environment, these plants, uh, that is based upon the temperature, plants are classified into three, uh, three uh, that is two types, C3 plants and C4 plants. C3 plants are that can perform the, that can living at the 25 to 30 degrees temperature and C4 plants, 35 to 40 degrees temperature. So, out of these C3 plants and C4 plants, some of the plants are that can perform the, are that can survive in the, surviving more than 40 degrees temperature, that is up to the 50 degrees temperature. So, here, which of the following is capable of performing the photosynthesis at a high temperature, even though the high temperature also, some plants are that can perform the photosynthesis. That plants they have to identify options of. Opantia, mango, potato, and none of this. Mango and potato, these both are belongs into the C3 plant. And Opantia, it is a zero fight plant. Zero fight plant. You know that zero fight plants are they can survive in a high temperate region that is in a desert. And these Opantia are zero fight plant. It belongs into a camp plants. Crassulaceous acid metabolism. Such type of the plant as Opantia only can perform the photosynthesis even though the more than 40 degrees temperature at a 50 degrees temperature also. And next question, which of the following fixes CO2 in carbohydrates? Which of the following fixes CO2 in a carbohydrate? It means CO2, CO2 fixation takes place and they can prepare the food materials as a carbohydrate. Options are they given as rhodosporellum, nitrobacter, rhizobium and bacillus. Here, photosynthesis is takes place higher group of the plants that we know. And photosynthesis also takes place into the sum of the lower group of organisms, that is, those are microorganisms as a bacteria. So out of the given bacteria, they can perform which of the bacteria belongs into the photosynthetic bacteria. Those we have to identify. So you know, Rhodosporellum is a photosynthetic battery that can fix the carbon dioxide and it they can prepare the food metal, they can perform the photosynthesis. Nitrobacter, rhizobium, bacillus. These are the nitrobacter, rhizobium and bacillus are the non-photosynthetic bacteria. So rhodosporellum only is a photosynthetic bacteria, so that's why rhodosporellum only can perform the photosynthesis, they can fix the atmospheric carbon dioxide to prepare the carbohydrates. So answer is A. In the next question, Optimum temperature for photosynthesis. You are taken as a C3 plants and C4 plants. The, these are for the C3 plants and C4 plants. Optimum temperature for the photosynthesis. So you know that C3 plants are that can perform the photosynthesis. That is 20 to, 25 to 30. And C3 plus C4 plants are 35 to 40. So in these 25 to 40 degrees temperature, optimum temperature are for the plants of C3 and C4 plants to perform the photosynthesis is 25 to 30 degrees only. 25 to 30 degrees temperature is required for the C3 plants and the C4 plants that can perform the photosynthesis. 
and next question cam plant helps in cam plants cam represent as a rasulaceous acid metabolism rasulaceous acid metabolism is a specialized mechanism than the c3 plants and c4 plants it's a specialized mechanism these are the cam plants are where also called as a photo active plants so they can open the stomata at a night time the cam plants are helps in options are conserving water secondary growth disease resistance and the reproduction so you now cam plants are having a specialized character as photo active means so they can open the stomata at night time and close at day time so why these are the stomata is required stomata is required for the transpiration purpose transpiration means loss of water from the aerial parts of the plant body in the form of vapors so now here cam plants are they are belongs into the photo active plants these are the cam plants are helps in conserving water so they can reduce the loss of water because of the close of the stomata at a day time so they can consume the water loss and remain secondary growth to disease resistance and reproduction reproduction is take place in all disease resistance and secondary growth secondary growth will not take place and disease resistance it's not a suitable for the disease resistance for cam plants so answer is a conserving water a the next question which of the following is essential for photolysis of water photolysis of water splitting of water in the presence of light and then form into the protons and electrons that is we are also called as this photolysis of water we are also called as hills reaction for the photolysis of water some of the group of molecules are there it right the group of the molecules are manganese and chlorine so out of the given option there manganese zinc to copper and boron they given so manganese required for the photolysis of water zinc is required for the activation of energy means activation of enzymes and the synthesis of oxygens proper it is involved into the oxidative reactions and also involved into the cytochromes boron used for the synthesis of pollen tube growth from pollen grain so photolysis of water is take place by by the involvement of manganese and chlorine answer a next question bacterial chlorophyll differ from chlorophyll a having so here bacterial chlorophyll it is present presence in bacteria so which are the bacteria can perform the photosynthesis such type of the bacteria we call as photosynthetic bacteria so these bacteria are photosynthetic bacteria contain of the chlorophyll we call as a bacterial chlorophyll it can differ from the chlorophyll a how it can differ from the chlorophyll a pigment see now here chlorophyll a pigments they contain as a center on single magnesium atom and uh, it was surrounded by the four nitrogen atoms and four pyrrolidine cells but here bacterial chlorophyll sir they can having a single pyrrolidine only see now option 1 f1 pyrrolidine and the hydrogen one and option b one pyrrolidine with the two hydrogen molecules one pyrrol ring and with the three hydrogen molecules one pyrrol ring with the four hydrogen molecules see now here bacterial chlorophylls are the specialized chlorophyll bacteria or photosynthetic bacteria chlorophyll it contain as a single pyrrol ring pyrrol ring contain as single only instead of the magnesium atom instead of the magnesium atom two hydrogen atoms are there present that's the character of bacterial chlorophyll so here bacterial chlorophyll can differ into the chlorophyll a pigments chlorophyll a it is a c55 h72 o5 n4 mg here the mg molecules are present but here the bacterial chlorophyll sir instead of the magnesium atom they contain as a two protons two hydrogen atoms so answer is b the next question plant which can photosynthesis at a low temperature up to minus 35 degrees up plants are they can perform the photosynthesis even though at the low temperature up to the minus 35 degrees those are we call as options are conifers blue green algae xerophytes and tropical plants xerophyte plants are they can perform the temperature they can perform the photosynthesis at high temperature 
and the tropical plants are we are also called as a mesophyte plant that can perform the photosynthesis that is c3 plants and c4 plants that optimum temperature for those that is 25 to 30 degrees temperature and blue green algae blue green algae it is a cyanobacteria it is also can perform the photosynthesis at the 25 to 30 degrees temperature only and the some of the plants those are we call as a gymnosperms 24 they having specialized characters with a needle like needle like leaf the 24 are gymnosperms are they can survive in a hill regions and they can perform the photosynthesis even though up to the minus 35 degrees temperature also minus 35 degrees temperature also so this type of the plants are we this minus 35 degrees temperature also 21st star, are 10 survive they can perform the photosynthesis answer is a